Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Spilling in Tea in a long time. Today we're here with someone that you'll all be familiar with by now, uh, after seeing him play on stage. Uh, we're here with uh, I'm37. How you Hello. doing? Hello, I'm doing good. Happy nice. to be here and thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, you don't need to be so formal, don't worry. Um, Alright, yeah, we, we got we got quite a few questions, so I'm just going to go through go through some of the, the good ones, on uh, starting with the ones from Twitter. Our very own uh, Papa Punk, Sean D. Kilchrist, asks, What positions do you prefer in football slash soccer? Are you an attacker, a defender, or a midfielder? Before anything, I'm not really good at soccer, but I prefer attacker because attackers are like really fun. And you're the one like mostly scoring. Yeah. So yeah, I prefer attacker. That's fair. I think a lot of people would go with the same sentiment on that yeah. one. So Jaina asks, uh, what is your favorite food? I think Korean kimchi, kimchi stew, I would say. It's really good when you're sick and it's just really good when like like eating normally day-to-day -day basis. And yeah, I just liked it. Next question from Average Boston Fan uh, asks, when playing McCree, should, uh, when should you stay with your team and when should you look to like go on a flank? It depends on what comp you, your team is running and what comp your opponent team is running. But generally, you should look to flank. Um, whenever there's a like, uh, flank route that you can easily access and you can just like flank and then grab their like grab the enemy team's attention or like make a kill um then you should flank but otherwise like um when e when enemy team is like looking at you you cannot really flank you can just like stay be with be with the team and then doing the most damage because once you start flanking you you're still main dps as a mccree but you're losing all those um dps uh, that your team needs so question from x underscore world v asks why are you named i'm 37 what's the what's the backstory behind your name yeah it's all it goes back to where i started playing first started to play overwatch it's like overwatch beta um i really like mccree because you can flashbang and right click right click back then was like 70 damage yeah so it was very powerful and then it was really fascinating to me and I started playing only McCree. Um, so I looked it up and then like I watched some uh, McCree like about McCree and like McCree's backstory and everything. And I found out that McCree's like actually his age is 37. So I just like went for it. <laughs> nice. I You know, I actually I was going to ask you myself this question because I was interested because I didn't know if it like was some sort of relating to some sort of like age or something. So uh, I just, <laughs> yeah, I kind of wanted to know myself, but it's interesting that it's McCree's age. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, basically I was one trick McCree, so yeah, why not? <laughs> no, why not? Yeah, I think there are a lot of one trick McCree's back then with the right click uh, yes. with the flash Very fun. and the hammer. It was... It was so fun, just like flashing Rhines over the shield and then like one-shotting a tank with your right Yes. Like, it's crazy. Yes. So a question from FleckJackOW asks, uh, how have you found your time with the team so far? How has it been? I mean, it's been great. We are we had um, really good uh, team activities such as like going to theme park, playing soccer, playing like kickball, having barbecue outside. So so yeah, it's re it's been really good. Yeah yeah, we've we've done a lot of cool stuff, team activities, even since I've been here, and I've only been here like a month and a bit now. And uh, we've done a lot of really cool stuff. The um uh, actual playing itself, it's great to like be here with everyone, obviously. Yeah. Uh, it's just yeah, it's 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 a it's a really good atmosphere here at the moment. Yeah, I'm really glad that um we had so much team activities that we can actually get close to each other to as a players, you know. So yeah. Uh, King Boomer asks, uh, what are some of the most common mistakes people make when playing McCree and uh, how, how do you think that they can improve on those? Like as I said, um, McCree can be really powerful when he's flanking because he has flashbang and right click does uh, a ton of damage. But at the same time when you're flanking you lose all the damage that your team needs so you need to like be decisive on your flanking. Um, also um make some a lot of people think McCree's like um hit scan but like can be played in like a short range between the enemy team. But actually when they're playing 
<clears throat> dive comp, sort of dive comp. Um, yeah, you have to be careful and you have to be with your back line. Um, and also when they're playing like Hanzo, Widow, Ash comp, um, McCree is generally not that strong against snipers on the enemy team. So, yeah, like common mistakes will be, you know, um, like wrong flanking timing. You can correct that by like watching your VOD or think about like this is like great flanking timing or not. Also, picking McCree against like snipers isn't always like good. So, yeah. Catgirl Robbie asks, uh, what made you want to start playing Overwatch and what made you stick around and keep playing it all this time? My friend uh, recommended me um, to play Overwatch because I really liked um, FPS games before Overwatch came out. So my friend, one of like friend of mine suggests, um, let's play Overwatch, it's coming out really soon. So I started playing Overwatch, but um, I didn't think I would go pro so I, I would play competitively in overwatch but yeah and it happened <laughs> and what made you stick around maybe um um when i first started playing overwatch um it was really like new to me because i only played like um csgo like those fps where you just like shoot heads but Overwatch is more of a like team coordinated and you have skills to use uh, to like make a kill or like create spaces. So, so yeah, it's, it was just like really new. So I, I think I stick around because of like how you use your skills to kill and like it's just new. Yeah, I think it was similar for me. I, I hadn't even heard of the game when uh, when I first played it in open beta. Uh, but yeah. my friends were just like, hey, come try this game out. And I played it, and I was, like, instantly, like, super hooked on playing it. Uh, I was just playing, like, you remember back in the beta days, people were playing stuff like the Bastion comps, where you just sit on the payload, and you just bunker yes. up with, like, Ryan Shield and Mercy the entire time with the Maceres. That was the, uh, that was the, like, super fun. And then, like, like you said, the abilities and just, like, the cool look of the game is what sort of sort of stuck it for me and made me want to keep playing. So from Facebook, uh, Patrick Whittle asks, uh, what is your favorite map in Overwatch and why? My favorite map would be King's Row. Because, King's Row. yes, King's Row has, you know, many flank route that you get access. So when I play McCree, King's Row is like one of one of the good maps. Because like if you imagine like first point attack, you have like you can go through the hotel left side mini, and it's a really good flank route, and you can like even go right side up top, and then like like go behind them, and unless they have diva, they cannot do anything about it because it's in the building and it's really, really short, so McCree can reach wherever, and the map isn't that big, and then skybox is really low, so it's like make perfect McCree map, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a big fan of King's Row myself, being like a very good Rhine map, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Questions from Instagram now. Uh, MB1855 asks, uh, why why did you join Boston? What what drew you to this team? The biggest reason is the is the head coach, Lori, but also the players. They are there eager to win, so that that's, that's the biggest reason, like coaching staffs and players and we wanted to improve as a team obviously Boston had a rough year so we I wanted to be there and then like make changes so yeah that's the biggest reason I think Maddie Brilli asks what is your favorite hero and least favorite hero to play I'm assuming from what we've done so far McCree is going to be the favorite but <laughs> mm, but actually to play my favorite hero to play is Ash not McCree because you know sometimes McCree can be hard to play when enemies playing like uh, some hard comp like Hard Connor like with yeah. Hanzo, but Ash can be really good against dive, really good against snipers. So favorite hero to play is Ash, and the least favorite hero to play, I'll say Torbjorn, because <laughs> I'm not I'm not used to like projectile. Like his left clicks, but right clicks I'm good, but left click it's it's somewhat hard 
for me to like it because a miss game player <laughs> I don't know that's my least favorite hero to play uh, loading Chris asks uh, what is your view on on crossplay obviously recently announced uh, it's coming to overwatch so so what do you think of that I watched the videos but I don't know like um, a lot about it but I just know that all the platforms are gathering and you can like play with them and like go against with them like against the uh, on different platforms like PS4 and PCs uh, my view would be I mean it's it's a nice move um, that we can like um, then my PS4 my friend who plays PS4 overwatch can play with me on like me playing on PC I think it's it's great, but competitively, I wouldn't want DPS my duo DPS player on comp playing on maybe Switch. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah I, they uh, they did say with the announcement, I, I I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be in uh, in competitive play. In competitive, it, yeah, that's... yeah, it will it will be for other for other modes. So like, yeah, you know, that's quick something play that I and... missed then. Yeah. Yeah, so, so uh, for me as well, like uh, if it was competitive, uh, I wouldn't like it because I think it would make some of the games a bit more unbalanced. Um, but yeah, for for um, for like quick play and stuff, I think it's like great. I think it's really cool that people are going to be able to play with their friends from console, um, meet people that they've never met before. It's going to bring like the whole player base together in a sense, you know. So, um, so I think it's pretty cool in that sense. Yeah, but still, some players um, play. Um quick play really I would say like competitively like <laughs> yeah that's true yeah so like if you have like a console player playing hard his scan and doing not so good and you're a PC player um I don't know about that <laughs> <laughs> yeah it might be a bit rough for them we'll see we'll see how it goes when it comes out I, I guess Brennan asks um what are you most looking forward to coming up to the summer showdown um is there a meta that you might want to play a team that you're looking to go up against or just something that you want to do in the summer showdown? I mean, obviously, we want to get a result and we want to go as, like, higher as we can and make eventually to Hawaii. But um, I'm really looking forward to, like, meta-wise, um, there is no ban, so I would say. Sombra can be really strong, like, last, last time. Where May Melee, um, Dallas Field played some Red Reaper, and it was really strong. And a team I want to play against um, is uh, Gladiators, because we've never beat them, and I really want to beat them, because just like, I don't want to lose every time we beat, uh, we're up against them. So I really want to beat Gladiators, and... Um, just like get result and go high as 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 we can. Yeah, I mean, Glads are a pretty good team this year, so beating them would be would be really nice. Yeah, definitely with you on that one. Uh, BPS uh, OW asks, what do you like the most about the city of Boston? Obviously, you haven't probably with COVID, you haven't had many chances to actually go and visit, plus the busy schedule. But um, in the small chances you have had to go there, what did you enjoy about it? I like like people. People in Boston say weather is not really that great, but for me, my experience with Boston so far, weather weather is like really good. I would say because sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's like really sunny, so you go out and get some get the sun. But yeah, the weather I would say it's really good for me because if if you're in the city where it never rains. It's also not good because sometimes it rains and like you get like a refreshing mind. So yeah, the weather. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a, not as big of a fan of the UK being uh, of the rain being from the UK, obviously. So uh, <laughs> I'm I'm a bit too used to the rain, but the sun I agree with. I very very much like the sun here. Uh, so from YouTube, a couple of questions. Um, so Badfish Soul asks, uh, what do you do for aim practice? Are you naturally just a chad when it comes to aim? Do you do any like warm ups before going into a ranked game, uh, or how do you how do you do it? What's your secret? I don't really do callbacks um, aim labs because um, I just feel like um, they can be helpful um, in, in Overwatch, but I just feel like doing custom games like Havana Aim Trainer. Not practice rage, um, 
just like have an aim trainer you can set up like the different characters on your opening team and then you can like shoot them and try to get used to your um your your sensitivities and get mess, uh build up the muscle memory i think it's really good it's i think it's better than playing Kovacs and aim lips all day so i i try to like um play havana aim trainer and um before rank game yeah i just like play have a name trainer why not and some practice range and just get my hands ready warm uh warm them up so yeah in terms of like practicing aim you can do stuff like kovacs in aim labs it's like a warm-up but doing it as like actual practice is always going to be worse than just practicing on the actual game you're playing right so if you're playing if you're playing overwatch then doing like the havana uh, aim practice is, is always going to be better in the long term for improving your aim, I think. Yeah, like I'm not saying Kovix and aim lifts, they don't help, but they can help. But like, I just feel like just like doing anything in custom games in Overwatch is better. Well, you heard it from the, the aim chat <laughs> himself, so it must be true. Okay, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do one last question. Uh, Cookies asks, can you do a British accent? I mean... If you teach me, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> you gotta, okay, you just gotta pronounce really strongly the words like water or. or... <laughs> water. <laughs> there you go. That'll do. All right, well, that, now we've got his British accent down uh, perfect, I would say. Um, so, so thank you very much. That's all the questions we're gonna go through today. Uh, thank you, Jin, for joining me. I uh, hope you had fun. Yeah, thank you. It was really fun and. Guys, make sure you get hydrated and get some water. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you. Bye-bye.